Do you like super kits or have you heard of super kits and thought, well, that's going to be super if I can use one of those, but I haven't tested with lots of places. Well, today we are going to talk about why you can't use siblings to create a super kit. Now, this is a question that has actually come up quite often, particularly when people have tested and they've had their brothers and sisters tested as well, and they want to make a super kit that those tests. So today let's dive into why you can't use siblings to create a super kit. First off, we need to understand what a super kit is. A super kit is a combination of different companies' SNPs. So for instance, if you tested with 23andMe and then you tested with Ancestry and you tested with MyHeritage, a super kit is actually taking all three of those tests and combining them into one. For instance, Let's take a look at this table right here. We can see that each one of these companies test at different sites. Now, some of those sites are the same, but some of them are different. Some of them may be unique to that one company. Others of them, there might be a couple of companies that test at that site. With this, none of these companies test any more than five of these sites, even though there's eight sites that I've listed right here. However, by making a super kit, what you can see on the end here is that it has taken the results from each one of these com companies and combined them into one result. And that has some advantages. Namely, you're going to be able to match people more precisely because you have more information available. All right, so if we take our siblings, then we come up with a slightly different result. Here I have me and my brothers that have tested all at different sites. And so it seems a little bit similar to this in that they match in some places and they don't match in others. But remember me and each one of my brothers, we each have a unique combination. So at site number one, you can see I have an AA, but my brother number one, he has an AT at that site. Whereas brother number three, he has an AA like me. Likewise, when we go to two, I have a GT, but my brother number two, he has a GG at that site. Now these differences are not because we tested at different companies. They are differences because we have different DNA. And we can go down the list and see that there are differences throughout. Now, if we combine all of these, what you can see on the super kit column is that we have some big problems. Remember, each one of these locations were only supposed to have two letters, but with several of these, our super kit has three letters. And in one case here, we actually have four letters in order to make all the combinations that we see just between me and my brothers. Now, these are not possible. What these would do, I don't know as far as messing up any kind of algorithm because all the algorithms are based on the fact that you have two letters in each spot. Another thing to point out is what we're actually creating is not a super kit of one person, but we're creating a super kit of four different people. Now those four different people happen to have the same parents, but they're still four different people. And so the results from that super kit are not going to be the same as what the super kit was intended for and how the algorithms use it. So you may be asking, well, what if we all tested from the same company? So I've got that here as well. Here's the same four people tested at the same company at those same locations. Now you'll notice then that we are missing three, six, and seven because Ancestry doesn't test at those locations. But when we also look at the super kit, we actually haven't improved anything. In fact, we've made some things worse. You can see now that there's really only one spot here that has the two letters, and that is spot number five. Everything else has three letters. A couple of spots now have four letters, which again is, is bad because it is going to not allow the algorithms to work the way they need to, to match. Likewise, you're not going to be matching appropriately because if I have an AC and my brother too has an AC, we're gonna match the same people at that spot. However, my brother one, he's got an AA there, and my brother three has a CC there. 
Well, they're not going to match people at that spot. But if we put something like this together in the super kit, the algorithm may say that, oh yeah, brother three and brother one, they match this person at this spot when they don't, they clearly don't. So let's take a look at the super kits of these three together. The first column here is the real super kit. This is what we would expect if me tested between Ancestry MyHeritage and Family Tree DNA. That is what a super kit should look like. Now, if we have this sibling super kit that we've created, it does not look the same. You can see that we have those extra letters there. That is going to confuse the algorithm. It's going to give you some false matches. And then we have the third one, the siblings that are all tested from the same company. And again, it's actually going to end up with worse results probably than just the siblings testing with different companies does simply because there is a lot of data that is just not correct. For those of you that have done some different work on GEDmatch, you may be remembering that there is a way to phase your kits. So for instance, we can take your DNA and split it up into the paternal side and the maternal side. You might be asking, well, what if I actually took my, me and my siblings and we phased it to create a super kit of the paternal side or the maternal side? This sounds an awful lot like a Lazarus kit, but we'll talk about that here in a second. Let's take a look at what the results could be. So here we have me and my three siblings. We all tested an ancestry and we've divided this up into the paternal and the maternal side and I'm just looking at the paternal side. And so you can see we only have one letter for each one because I only got one of those letters from my father and each one of them also got one of those letters from their father. Now, when we're looking at this, we can combine stuff together knowing that there's just going to be two letters if we see two different letters, like for instance, in line one or line two, there are some A's and there are some T's or there's some G's and there's some T's. We know that both of those have to be present in this super kit, which is going to be representative of our father. So we have AT and GT there. However, when we get down to something like number five, we see T's all the way across. Now, we could have all just inherited a T because that's all he had to give. He was TT. Or he might have been some other letter in T, but we just inherited the T side. We don't know which one it is. So in this case, we really can just put a T there. Now, if you had a lot of kids and it was all showing up as one letter, you probably could make the assumption that it is TT in this case. But the number of kids that you would have to have to confidently say that, I would guess is probably in the neighborhood of six to 10. And even then, there's going to be some cases where you're incorrect. And when we're talking about looking at 500,000 places, even a small chance of being incorrect is going to result in a large number of incorrect calls on these letters. Now, if we look at the other way that we each tested from a different company, we can see that one, we get data on each one of these locations, but we don't necessarily get complete data. So for instance, on line one, we determined that it was AT. And we can see from testing with different companies that it is also AT because we have that much difference and enough people tested with, or the, each of the companies tested that SNP specifically to give us that. However, once we get to number two, we just have GT when we tested from the same company, but when we test from different companies, because the person who had the T, that SNP wasn't tested, all we know is that it is at least a G there. So testing with different companies to be able to create this super kit of our father is similar, but it's not the same. Now I mentioned before that the result of this super kit, it really should be a Lazarus kit for the parents of siblings. If you're using the phased kit data. And if you've watched my videos about Lazarus kits, you'll notice that phased kits of siblings get really good Lazarus results 
But when you actually break it down, those results look like one of these two where there's going to be some letters that are only have one in that location as opposed to two in that location. And there's already the Lazarus tool for it. So then the question is, is why can't I just use phase kits on the super kit tool and create a Lazarus kit? Well, when you go to the super kit tool in GEDmatch and you click on four different people, it is going to tell you right away that, hey, these four kits have to be the same individual. So you can't use four different people to create the super kit. Not only that, you can't even use phased kits or Lazarus kits as one of your kits. So even if you could use four different individuals, it still wouldn't let you use the phased kits, which is what you would need to use in order to get good data on the super kit. So if you haven't tested at multiple companies, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to make a super kit. But you can still go and test at multiple companies and upload that data to dead match and be able to use that super kit function. Now, if you'd like to learn more about matching with super kits, then check out this video up here.